Five years ago, I started to focus on observation, how the society actually are being connected and how they share their collective space, their society space. I started to think about chaos. For a country who has everything in their order and then a little failure, they will call it already chaos. But in the society where I'm living, it is probably not a discussion about chaos. It is just another way of living collectively. It is also not what I thought about people don't care each other. It is exactly the way people care each other. So I'm interested how the new order, that is the unspoken order collectively created by the society, has been maintained and continued. Rapid modernization creates this lapse because something that is tempting to be called, um, for example, a better society is actually not coming from our own. It's coming from the capitalistic system, making failures, failures by failures, generation to generation. It's, it's uncontrollable. When Malati first explained to me the concept of lapse, I was thinking how the natural world and the, and the chaos of the natural world is intertwined with our urban life. I'm playing around with uh, feedback from very simple uh, activations of sound and how sound then starts to move and form itself into this kind of chaotic structure it is purely improvisational with some scaffolds of structure that I'm working around. Every performance will tend to ride off the energy of the dancers and vice versa. So there's a lot of interchanging of ideas and energy throughout the performance. I would just stand in the middle of the bamboo tree and just listen because it's been very windy. And I've just been listening to the, to the wind through the bamboo. And from there, I've been capturing ideas of how the wind and the bamboo with the friction and how it moves with the leaves dropping and sometimes even me stepping on the leaves. Pretty much some of the synths that I've been using, I have limited control over it because sometimes they self-feedback, they self-generate. So that's why I'm training and retraining myself on how I'm approaching the instruments as well. There are so many different unique elements to what LAPS is about. One could perceive it as it being part of nature, one could see it as it being part of the future, one could see it as a part of history. I think that's really up to the audience to decipher for themselves what that really is. Just yesterday, she asked us to go through the entire journey of going on a motorcycle and taking a look of what Solo is about. It was very different for myself. I mean, there's a sense of freedom. There's a sense of liberation. Lapse is not representing something that is from the reality per se, but it elaborates a deeper sense of the reality. So when I create Lapse, I imagine already the visual as a whole picture is between movement, object, light and sound. The sound is playing a big role. The lighting is also a big role, as equal as the, the presence of the dancer's body and also the movement, the choreography and the objects. So this as a whole entity is very important since the beginning. So when I create the, the choreography, I give a lot of space also for the sound to enter and the light as well as the object to be present. I wish the audience will experience uh, a kind of a spatial experience and also the experience of rasa.